Chris Morstead to get this one started. And off we go from Cleveland. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. So here come the Browns for their first drive on offense. They'll be led out by their veteran quarterback, a former Blue Hen out of Delaware. It's Joe Flacco. Remember when the conversation was, is Joe Flacco elite? Well, at one point, he was elite enough to not only win a Super Bowl, but be named the MVP of that game. And for a time, one of the top paid quarterbacks in the league. Not bad for a young man to transfer to Delaware from Pitt while in college. This guy has had a great career. Not many chances now to lead an offense, but still capable if put on the field. They will start this drive with Ford. Five yards on the game's first play, second down. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it, and to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. Here's Flacco. This short pass into the hands of Njoku. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. When an offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, tight ends know that they become a big part of the passing game because there should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. On the ground, it's Ford. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Ball at the 40 here for second and five. From the gun, Flacco. Now he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Sauce Gardner picks it off. And he brings this one back. It's a pick six and a jet touchdown. So a big defensive play there on the opening drive, no less, as they make the interception and bring it back for the score. And I think that's a signal for how this defense wants to play. They want to be disruptive, and you know they're going to take some chances. Well, sometimes it can burn you, but right there, it paid off. Now Greg Zerline on for the extra point. He's got it, and the Jets lead 7-0. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. Second drive coming up here for Cleveland as they return to the field on offense. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. On first down, nothing opening up really on the running play. Give him maybe a yard and it'll be second down. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Second down, Flacco now. And there is Amari Cooper, his first catch. 
So five yards here, five on the play. And now it's third and four. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. They'll get only a yard out of that, and it'll bring up fourth down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. And Bojorquez on to punt as he gets it away. And he didn't quite have the backspin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. So now here comes the Jet offense as they get ready to take over. They'll be led out by Zach Wilson, former second overall pick, now in his third season out of BYU. And what was really attractive about Zach Wilson coming out of college, coming out of BYU, his ability to create and make plays when many people thought they didn't exist. But what's been even better is watch him improve in the pocket, able to hit the back foot, make the right read, and the right throws. Now Wilson on first down. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Now it's Wilson. And that's incomplete. This defense has passed its first two tests by forcing back-to-back -back incompletions. They know there's probably another throw coming on third down. Let's see if they decide to force the issue by sending people on a blitz. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Now Wilson. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Wilson smart to take off and run with it as he's able to pick up the first. He's a talented runner, and that means he's always looking for bigger and bigger gains when he takes off. Certainly found some bonus yards there beyond the first down marker, and this early drive will continue with that extra jolt from his legs. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Wilson. And this one almost intercepted. Not a good throw there. Nearly an opening drive, INT. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. Now a second and ten. Now it's Wilson. A quick throw there is incomplete. Rocky start throwing the football. He's missed now on his first four attempts. I'm eager to see what his demeanor is going to be from this point forward because the best ones, they missed the first 15 attempts and they think they're going to hit the next 15. Let's see if he has that type of an attitude. On third down, Wilson. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So, Charles, this defense in for a tough matchup. What do, what do you think the game plan is here tonight? Well, I think the game plan is the same as most, which is, hey, pass rushers, do your job. Coverage guys, do your job. And the linebackers are going to be a mix. Sometimes they'll drop in coverage. Sometimes they'll pressure the quarterback. But all in all, you never want to let that quarterback get a string of completions going because if so, they're hard to deal with and it makes for a long evening. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Nice progress down the field was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. Here's second and ten. Throwing again here, Wilson. 
That's complete right side to Lazard. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. Five yards, now it's third and five. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. This pass out wide to Hall. That he's brought down short. Two yards there, needed four. Always important as a defender on third down to keep the play in front of you and make sure you don't give up enough space that they can make a move on you in the open field. Try as he might, he wasn't able to get to the first down marker. Excellent defense, good tackling. And they won't try and pooch it, it's a fake. And he will not even make it back to the line of scrimmage. A little trickeration there, but it doesn't fool this defense. And this 10-play drive winds up yielding nothing. Ready to take over again on offense. Out comes Cleveland. And the results for them have not been strong to this point. Two drives have ended in a turnover and then a punt. So would it be too snarky for me to say that they've shown improvement? Because you had two, two drives with turnovers. <laughs> now they punted it away, so at least they didn't turn it over. So that's good, right? You're going to get some angry users <laughs> reaching out to you on social media. Well, I don't mean to be. I was actually looking for the positive. Silver lining, you know. For the Browns, good starting field position as they have it first and 10 at the 41-yard line. And now here's a deep shot that's complete. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A good pick up there, 26 yards. A great job pulling that one in from a guy, as we know, who can really blaze. He's got a lot of speed. And that speed can work for him so many different ways. Sometimes he just takes off and goes and just runs past people. Sometimes you get people to back off so far that you can catch everything underneath. But still, at some point in the game, you probably have to make some contested catches, right? Sometimes you have to go up and beat a defender for the football. He has that in his arsenal as well. Showed it right there. From the 25, here's second down and two. Play action, Flacco. And that is taken in by Njoku. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five yard line. This offense can certainly move quickly when they want to. Three plays, three pass completions. In the blink of an eye, they've got a first and goal. Almost felt like a lightning bolt hit in this game, didn't it? For them to get downfield that quickly. And now first and goal, expect them attack right here on this play. And down he goes. Pressure gets him back at the 14. Solomon Thomas, they love to see that from him as he slips in for the sack. Well, there's still time to rectify this situation because the silver lining... They took a sack on first and goal, but that close to the goal line, that still definitely hurts. It's second and goal, but now all the way back at the 14. They run with Ford. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Browns touchdown. Jerome Ford taking it in from 14 yards out. And the Browns are an extra point away from drawing level. You get in a second and long situation down here in the red zone, I'd say most defensive coaches would think pass. Let's bring some pressure. So this is kind of a tendency breaker here to hit him with something on the ground. And he'll take it all the way into the end zone. Dustin Hopkins on now to add the extra point. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied Seven now as they kick it away. And he brings this out past the 20 to the 24. 
Back onto the field come the New York Jets for their second drive. On first down, Wilson. And a big loss here as he's taken down. It was Miles Garrett that time who got in there and brought him down. Well, that's an excellent way to get the pass rush activated. The first sack of the game for them comes on the first play of the drive, and it makes it very tough for the opponent to pick up a first down now, playing behind the sticks. After the sack, oh, they're staring at a challenge basically from the other side of town. It's second and a country mile. Wilson. And his throw here is incomplete. As a corner, you have to be able to run with guys step for step downfield of man coverage and make up ground quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. There's Wilson to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. Sometimes the game is pretty simple. Put a few extra defensive backs on the field, give them nowhere to throw the football, force the incompletion, and get off the field on third down. Here's Thomas Morstead now, as his first punt will come from inside his own end zone. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. Here's Moore on the return. A little juke. A big boot that time. 57 yards the official distance. And the Browns will take over first and 10. Cleveland offense making their way out. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And, partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Two yards to go, second down. Bootleg, Flacco. It's caught by Bryant. It's the first time that they've looked his way tonight, and he comes up with a first down on the play. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. The handoff to Ford up the middle. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Flacco here on second down. He's got the connection to Cooper. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 32-yard line. It's a 10-yard pickup, and that's enough to move the chains. To win any route, you've got to break down the defender. And that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. This is Ford, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through, but that's exactly what happened. 
a loss resulted. On second down, Flacco to throw. He finds his man complete. It's fourth. And all the way in. Touchdown, Cleveland. Jerome Ford. He scored on the ground and through the air. And the Browns have taken the lead. And that's another route that defenders would vote to take out of the game. The wheel route? Oh, without a doubt. You're just trying to move everybody in one direction. And whether it's a running back or another receiver, as they zip out on the sideline, you've got a problem on your hands. Yeah, well, the defenders hate it there. It happened, and it resulted in a touchdown. Here's Hopkins now for the extra point. It's up and good, and it's 14-7 now here in the first quarter. That time, a six-play drive, and it's capped off by the Browns' touchdown. the touchdown Dustin Hopkins will kick it away Xavier Gibson now from his end zone and he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee maybe a yard shy of there at the 24 another go around now for the Jets offense and Charles a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there was a quick three and out then they punted the football yeah and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here they've got to get going Wilson leading the Jets up now for a first and 10 at their own 24 he'll set up to throw from the gun Wilson's got it complete and from the 25 they work this to the 29 a gain of four We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger gain. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Play action. It's Wilson. He finds his man complete. It's Wilson. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and that'll bring up second down. Oh, I see you nodding your head along with me, partner, because it's pretty obvious what they were trying to do there on the drag route. With his speed, they're hoping he can turn the corner and maybe take this to the house. But that was excellent work defensively to make sure once he caught it, he wasn't going anywhere. Meanwhile, Wilson's throw here pulled in by Lazard. And they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns' 25-yard line. A good pick up there, a 22. Boy, everything clicking on this drive. He's 4 for 4 now, and that throw may be the best of the bunch. This offense is really humming, and they pick up another first down. They'll throw on first down with Wilson, and Lazard's got it again. Second and six. Oh, did the Jets miss this guy? Here's Brees Hall. And he's in. Touchdown, Jets. 21 yards for Brees Hall. And the Jets are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. So that a very nice looking touchdown run and on his first carry of the game as well and you remember Brandon we talked to him yesterday and he thought he was going to have a big game he thought everything aligned perfectly he liked what the defense was presenting and he really liked what he was getting from his blockers Zerline good with a PAT and we are tied at 14th. 
So that drives six plays, 75 yards. And it was capped off by a Brees Hall touchdown run. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Heading out as the Cleveland offense now as they get set to take over here. We have seen a lot of points here in this quarter. For us up here in the booth, it's been fun to watch. The defensive coordinators probably scratching their heads. Yeah, they're going a little bit crazy right now, but let's face it, all of our friends who play fantasy, <laughs> they're enjoying the heck out of this show because most of them are creating and getting a bunch of points. Yeah, points certainly not at a premium here. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. But also like what the runner's given us, too. It appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out here and take off. Four yards the pickup, first down. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. And I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. They look to throw on first and ten with Flacco. To the right side and he's got more complete. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. 14 yards, and it's a Cleveland first down. Charles, to move the chains that time, they had to complete it into double coverage, and they got it done. And it's never easy overcoming multiple defenders, but he sure made it look simple. Found the right spot to exploit and won his one-on-two matchup. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Here's Flacco. And he'll go right back to Moore, complete again. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it'll be second down. How about this? They'll try the option. Left side. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Typically on the read option play, when we talk about responsibilities, we're talking about what the quarterback has to go through. How about the inside linebacker, though? His job on this play, shadow the quarterback and hold him to a short gain. Did it to perfection. On third down, four. Good footwork at the 30. And he is going to have a Browns first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, partner, what do you think? Might have been four down territory if they didn't pick it up, but... Yeah, it's a moot point now. I was curious, so if they didn't get it there, would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we didn't have to make that call, but I have a feeling both of us would have said, go for it. Again, they turn to Ford. And he'll be taken down just shy of the red zone at the 21. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Pretty entertaining start. 14 all the score on EA Sports. On to the second from Cleveland. It's the Browns in control of the football. From the 21, here's second and three. As they've got it as we resume action. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what'll be a third and four. Well, we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. 
Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Like what I see so far out of this defense because they've been showing their best coverages on third down. So far, only allowed one conversion on a handful of attempts. One area of their game plan that they've executed to perfection. Hopkins' kick is good, and they take a 17-14 lead. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. the made field goal for three Hopkins now to kick it off and able to get this out to the 25 the New York set to take the field and they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown and confidence is powerful isn't it when you scored once you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again doesn't matter what the defense throws at them they feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go-around. Wilson leading the Jets up now for a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Now a late signee let go by Minnesota in June. It's Dalvin Cook, and nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. That was a pretty good job defensively to hold them to a two-yard run, but I've got to think this offensive line, they're asking their quarterback for a different type of a run, one that they rely on, one they have confidence in, one they feel like they can block. From the shotgun, Wilson. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Wilson. Wilson to Wilson there. Zach to Garrett for a jet first down. Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You've got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. On first and 10, it's Hall. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. Here's second and seven. Here's Wilson. Got a man. That's Lazard. And they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns' 41-yard line. He goes for 18 there as the drive will continue. And as a quarterback, you always want to exploit gaps in the defense, and he finds one here. Crossing route, working from right to left across the field. And once you get defenders going in the wrong direction, it is awfully hard for them to pivot back, and you end up getting the first down. Now Wilson on first down. And that's going to be incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. Second and 10. To throw is Wilson. Throw left side complete. That's Wilson. And they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns 30. The Jet passing game in rhythm. They've got another first. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage, and that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, a tight, a sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area, so you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. Miles Garrett, the all-pro defensive end there on the stop. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. 
And they're knocking on the door now. Has a good run there. Going to take this to about the 10 yard line. 43 yards rushing for him now. And he's only carried the ball four times. Well, as we've learned over the years, just because a guy plays left tackle doesn't mean he doesn't have run blocking abilities. And we just saw it there. Controlled the line of scrimmage, created a big gain. That's kind of a bonus. He's there to protect that high value that you have back under center, but he creates space in the run game. Yeah, not only can he dance, he can mash too. He'll find Lazard here over the middle. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. More muscle up front for this second and two. They've got three tight ends out there. Coming right, this is Cook on the toss play. And he'll get blown up behind the line of scrimmage. Back at the six. He lost four there, and it's third down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. On third down, Wilson. Steps away to his left. And he's going to take it in for a Jets touchdown. Zach Wilson, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Jets have retaken the lead. Oh, this is a great decision right here. Out of the pocket to his left. And he knows if he waits too long, the defense is going to be all over him. So he makes a decision to go and wins the race to the pylon. Zerline now for the PAT. It's up and good to make it 21-17. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it was Zach Wilson who took it in himself on the touchdown run to cap it off. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Getting set to go again as we look at the back heading onto the field again. They're behind in the first half here, CD, but it's not through any fault of their running back. He's had a strong start to this one. And you're right about that, partner, because watching him play, you would think that his team is in the lead. He has been a lot of fun in this contest. Now let's see if they can actually make something happen and put more points on the board behind his efforts. Yeah, I'm curious to see, Charles, if they can play complimentary football and get that passing game going as well. They'll start on the ground here on first down to about the 35, second down. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal... Get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Now a second and six. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Ford, and he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 13 yards to pick up there. Good for a Cleveland first. Although his reputation as a speedy runner precedes him, it's always fun to watch him work. It is eye-opening, isn't it? Because when you see him get the ball and just go, in addition to that speed, it helps out his blockers. They don't have to hold blocks for long because he's just going to speed right past them. And he'll take it across midfield down into Jet territory. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. A break from the ground game here. Flacco. And the Jets pressure too much as down he goes. Jermaine Johnson credited with that sack. 
Defensive end gets in there that time. They were in a 4-3. What's the responsibility, the ends versus the tackles there, Charles? Well, most of the time, when you talk about the ends, they're your pass rushers. They're, they're the guys that you turn loose to try and get to the guy who's going to throw the football. The tackles, usually more of the run-stuffing variety. But the way this game is advanced, you're wanting a little bit of everything out of all of your guys. But let's just go ahead and break it down and make it simple. The guy who's the right defensive end versus a right-handed quarterback, that's the blind side. He's going after the quarterback. He's going to put him on the ground. Looking deep downfield. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Early on, the running game's been working well, and the offensive line has been pleased by that. The thought process there, catch those safeties creeping up, trying to help against the running game. They tried to hit them over the top unsuccessfully. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. And not what he was hoping for there, as this will hit in the end zone for a touchback. New York ready to go again offensively. They have played so strongly. You look at the scoreboard, you, you probably, with the way they played, you would think the margin would be a lot bigger, right? You would. And in your experience, how many times have we run into coaches where they've talked about, hey, we just want to put it in the hands of our defense and have them win the game. In this case, yeah, not the case. Not at all. You want to put it in the hands of your offense, but you always feel better about seeing defense because you think defense is a constant and offense kind of comes and goes. Today, <laughs> this game, no, they need their offense to stay on a really hot level. They've been hot so far. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Now Wilson on second down. That's complete right side to Lazard. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to it? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Wilson now off the bootleg. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. Good clean play. No flags coming out of the pocket of the officials. Turns into an incompletion, and that should get him off the field with a three and out. Here's Thomas Morstead on now to punt it away on fourth down. Returning it is Moore. We call that an even 50 yards on the punt with seven on the return. And out will come the offense as they take over. With the football going back over now to the Cleveland Browns. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in of the end zone. This short pass into the hands of Njoku. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven. Past the 30 to the 32. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end. Made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here. Second and three. Now a give right side. Four. Four yards the pick up, first down. Sometimes I get almost mesmerized watching these runners who have great vision. You know, those eyes that carry their feet to open spaces, make people miss. I just love watching those guys go to work. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They'll keep it on the ground. It's four. They'll get this to about the 38. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. From the gun, Flacco. 
Over the middle, Amari Cooper, it's complete. The result, only four yards there on the play. And it brings up third and five now. To pass, Flacco. And that is incomplete, but a penalty flag coming in. This could be a first down. Thought they were going to force a fourth down. Instead, P.I. gives them the first. And that's frustrating because you think you've taken them really deep into the count, haven't you? Instead, you've got to start all over. That can really, really be demoralizing. Now a handoff up the middle. Four. And a good job of finding the open space to run as he's down close to the 30 here. 98 yards rushing for him now on 17 carries. He continues to be effective running the football, a big reason that they have the lead. And I love one of the quotes that I read about him where he said of himself, I love it when a team just hops on my back and I just carry them along. Flacco off play action. And his throw is incomplete. That was well played, but that was also an example of a corner who understands his coverage, realized he had support behind him, and could be a little more aggressive in the shorter zone, and did exactly that, knocking that pass away. Line of scrimmage, the 31, as they line up second and 10. Up the middle they go. It's Ford. And now off to the races, down the right side. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it with it in high latch. Dropped at the one. All told, it's an even 30 and a first down. Now that was a big run. It takes him all the way down to the one-yard line, and that'll shake the confidence of any defense. So when they're looking for a little bit of support now, looking at their defensive coordinator, if I'm him, I dial up some pressure. I just go after him because otherwise, you're still playing back on your heels, and that's not going to help your defense at all. Hunt. Looking for a signal, but none forthcoming. They stopped him shy of the goal line. No gain on the play, and it's going to be second and goal. They're right there at the one. No gain, but don't let that stop you. Line back up and keep going at them. If I'm them, I'm thinking about going at it four straight times. Setting up to throw Flacco. Touchdown, Browns! David Njoku, a one-yard touchdown reception. And the Browns have yet again retaken the lead. There was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself, no reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Now it's Hopkins to add the extra point. And that one gives them a three-point lead. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. the touchdown Dustin Hopkins will kick it away and he's up across the 25 and down at the 28 so out now come the Jets as we eat closer and closer to intermission Charles remember last time out they punted they would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with the slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. On first and 10, it's Wilson. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Wilson. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Now a second and two. 
They'll bring a tight end in motion left. On second down, Cook. Shifts past him at the 45. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. That's good for a Jet first down, a gain of 13. Partner, if you want more carries, I think we saw how you get them. Showed that he's got the fresh legs, and he picked up the first down on that run. Don't just ask for them. Show them that you're supposed to get the football. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. They'll bring the tight end in motion right. They run again on first down. Cook. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Good yardage there on first down. Exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs. Keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. Play action. Now Wilson. That's going to be complete on the sideline, but, you know, that throw left him no room to run, and the good footwork nearly all for naught. So the completion gets him just a yard, and that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. They'll run with Hall. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. By the skin of their teeth, they are able to convert on third and inches. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. On first down, Wilson. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Wilson. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half, to about the 39. Here's a second and eight. Here's Wilson. He's taken down. This will be a Brown sack. Miles Garrett. That is now two sacks for him here in this first half. They've gobbled up over 30 yards of turf so far, but a sack knocks them backwards. And that interrupts the momentum they were building. Good opportunity for the defense to escape this drive before they get to the end zone. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. So touchdowns on their first two drives, but looking like that won't be the case here. Yeah, it looks like someone put their dukes up a little bit, doesn't it? Maybe decide to finally make a stand because those first two drives, they got run over. Now, finally, got their feet under them, got a little bit of balance. They're getting off the field. And here's Morstead now as he sends this one away. And this will be out of bounds, and they spot it at the 15-yard at the line. Not too bad. The Browns now going to take over late in this first half. And we'll see how this is played. Offensively, they've got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think, Charles? Well, it's tempting to try and add to your lead. But a mistake there, that can change things in a big way. I say go ahead, take the knee, get on out for the half. draw play to Ford and not much there at all he's up only to about the 16 yard line now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half they work now on second and nine They'll keep it on the ground. Ford. And he goes across the 20 to the 22. 135 yards rushing for him now as his big night continues. Well, partner, they've been running it well the entire game, and the big guys up front, they're a huge reason why. And now they're reaping the benefits as they continue to open up big holes and gain nice yardage. Flacco to throw here on third down. 
Uh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. On fourth down, on is Corey Bajorquez to punt. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. Call that one an even 60 yards, 6-0. And control of the football, switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath as we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. Both these offenses have been in fine form. What will the second half bring us as we are underway in quarter three? Taken at the goal line. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. Here's the Jets offense now getting set to start off this third quarter. Well, Charles, in that first half, we saw a fair amount of offense on both sides of the football, and now the team trailing here will start with it in the third quarter. And we both know this coach pretty darn well, don't we? Because his game planning is always on point. And now that he's getting the ball to start the second half, how about all the offense that you already referenced in the first half? He'll put that all together and come out with something really strong, I believe, to get things going here in the third quarter. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. No question that they're going to continue to look his way. Six catches in the first half and now seven on the game. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Here's Wilson to throw. His throw incomplete. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. And darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. On second down, a run with Hall. And they'll stop him after a gain of a couple to the 33. A big part of a middle linebacker's job is being able to take on blocks and then go make plays. But the best ones, they have those big guys in front of them playing defensive line that hold blockers off of them and allow them to flow sideline to sideline and make the big hits. From the gun on third down, Wilson. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. How about 25 yards on third down? They'll take it. Going old reliable there to the slot on third down. And the slot position has become the bane of just about every defense's existence because how do you cover? Do you go with a bigger guy to try and use size? Can I go with a, try go with a quicker guy and sometimes even get out quick there? Very difficult to match up with that slot receiver. That's why they keep going back to him. And he's had the hot hand.
Handoff, running left. Here's Hall. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Now that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy is nimble and quick. More than a space eater. He just made a great play there. Ball on the 40 now. Here's a second and eight. On the counter, it's Hall. They'll wind up getting four down to the 36. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. Now Wilson. And the Browns pressure gets to him that time, and he's going to go down. Miles Garrett bringing the pressure yet again. That's his third sack here tonight. Well, many times when you talk about mobile quarterbacks, you get the sense that they feel like they can get out of any bad situation. They keep moving around and trying to emulate guys like the scrambler or the dodger. Instead, they keep losing yardage and losing yardage and digging themselves a hole that they can't get out of. Here's Thomas Morstead now as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. Here's the Browns now. They get set for their first possession of the third quarter. They're rocking and rolling, but the scoreboard doesn't show a big difference. You know, maybe it's one of those games where coaches say you can't miss your turn on offense. I like the way you phrased it, especially with that. I love that rocking and rolling because the explosions on offense are happening. So that's going to keep the crowd going. They're loving that. But defensively, they just can't get it together to get the stops they've needed in order to help increase their margin. They've got to find a way, but you're not counting on it. Exactly what you said. Can't miss your turn. Can't miss your opportunity. Yeah, they're going for another opportunity now. Second and seven. And right side, they're going to go option here. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Well, praise has to go to the guys in the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game. And while they slowed them down on that run, can they continue to do so? Because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game. Now Flacco. Now they go screen. It's complete. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. They'll get only a yard out of that, and it'll bring up fourth down. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. The Browns send out their punter now. He's been terrific so far. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards. Well struck. And the Jets will take over first and 10. Alan Lazard and the Jets set to go back on offense. They have to like what they've gotten from him in this game. Think about the accumulation of catches. Eight. The yards per catch now, because you're getting more than a first down every time he's touching the ball. This is the kind of game you want when you're able to throw it out wide. Absolutely. Over 100 yards, has the eight catches. Wilson leading the Jets up now for a first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. He'll give it to Hall to start the drive. And he'll get to him quickly here as he'll get a yard, just a yard to the 22. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. Second and nine. Throwing is Wilson. And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. Well, that's where this Cleveland crowd, the dog pound in particular, make it difficult on opposing offenses. It looked like they might have had troubles communicating at the line, and it leads to the incompletion. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. From the gun, it's Wilson. 
And this is going to be incomplete. Well, how about the coverage we just saw him break out on third down? Dime defense, blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed, unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. Here's Thomas Morstead now, as he'll come on for his fifth kick of the night. That's taken on the 25. It'll be a 51-yard punt that time. And they will take over first and 10. And now Cleveland geared up to take the field. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. On first down, Flacco. And he's got Cooper on the out route. That's complete. Well, that's what you're looking for when you're wanting to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. Options galore here, second and a few inches. Now a handoff up the middle. It's four, and he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Four yards the pick up, first down. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. He's got Njoku over the middle. And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. Still a few inches short of a first down as they come up now on second down. Up the middle they go. It's Ford. There he goes left side. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. 177 yards rushing now on 23 carries so far. Yeah, they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They had punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. I'll tell you what, this defense hasn't played its best, but they're still right in this football game. And if they keep making plays just like that, they're going to give their offense a chance. Moved back to the 10. They'll try on second and goal here. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the eight. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. <laughs> I have to laugh a little bit because he actually handed it off. I thought with the two touchdown passes he's thrown in this one already, he'd go ahead and fling and try and get a third one. Yeah, now from this spot on third down, I think he'd probably throw in here. Yeah, I don't think there's any question about it. They, they won't even send in a running play here, I don't believe. I think they go ahead and try and throw it for a touchdown. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. Great defense there on third and goal. They took away everything, forced him to fire that one to the sideline where no one could get it. Here's Dustin Hopkins now to try the field goal. From the left hash, a chip shot here. Hopkins' kick is good, and that will add three more to their lead. It pushes it up to six. So it was a three-point lead at halftime, and they double that with a field goal here. And I think defensively, you've got to be okay with that because you've kept this game within a touchdown. Your hope is that you've inspired your offense to put a drive together, get in the end zone themselves, and hopefully get you the lead.
Following the made field goal for three. Hopkins now to kick it off. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. Here's the Jet offense now. They head out to take over. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well, I mean, I'm OK with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. Pressure comes, and Wilson's going to go down. Miles Garrett make that now four sacks for him in tonight's ball game. Well, this has to count as a great team effort today, but this man, he's been at the center of all of it. Really special day for any defense to have this many sacks in a game, even more so for this player. One well, of the best individual efforts of the season. And he's going to go down again. Miles Garrett in there again as he's able to pick up sacks on both first and second down. Okay, let's go back a little bit and see if my schooling comes to the front. What's that old saying? Those who forget the lessons of history are doomed to repeat them. That's the same guy who's gotten back-to-back -back sacks. I think a double team may be in order. So now Wilson and the Jets with a third and long here following the sack. Third down, Dalvin Cook. Down the numbers, there he goes. And all the way to the opposite, 48. A big play there out of Cook. 49 yards on the ground. Trailing here in the third, and that run might just be the spark that this offense needs. And don't you just get the sense that he's going around, not just in the huddle, but looking over at the bench and saying, ball, give me the ball. Let me carry this thing home. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. Wilson. Throw left side complete. That's Wilson. Not quite the success they had last play. This one goes for three yards. A three-yard pickup brings up second and seven. At the They'll come up second and seven. Wilson. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Garrett Wilson, the intended receiver, and it's third down. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. This pass out wide to Hall. And he's going to be stopped here at the 43, and that is not near enough to pick up the first. That's going to bring up fourth down, only a gain of two there. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they rallied and made the tackle. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. And now where will the side judge stop his walk? That's the question. He says it crossed out of bounds at about the 17-yard line. Cleveland offense making their way out. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three and, points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. First and 10, and Flacco looking to throw. Throw left side, caught by the tight end, Njoku. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, 14 yards. As they began this drive, I was wondering how they were going to attack since they're playing with the lead. Would they continue to try and push the ball downfield? Well, after one play, it appears that the answer is yes. 
From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Flacco looks to throw. Over the middle and into the hands of his receiver, Moore. So the completion good for six yards, and that'll make it second down. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone, or? Better against man, because now you're running away from someone, and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. On second down now. It's Ford, and he'll get up to the 43-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Well, you know they had a third down play on standby just in case, but he says no need with that carry. Runs like that will continually earn him more work in this and future contests. Right back to him on first down. And he'll get what he can up the middle, three yards, and that'll bring up second down. But that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. On second down, it's Ford, and down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game, and while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take them in short, steady bursts. Third and four. Flacco from the gun. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 37. His first catch, and it's a pretty big one. They get the conversion on third down. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. So in Jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 37-yard line. Flacco. That's to the right side and complete to Najoku. And down to the 20 he'll go before heading out of bounds. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. And he's the epitome of what we call the move tight end. A guy that you can line up anywhere. In the slot, out wide, in tight. Doesn't really matter because he has such great skills. You want to utilize him in all aspects of your passing offense. And there he was in the slot for the catch. And he's only going to get a yard from the 20 to the 19. But that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That was a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Now second and nine. They'll keep it on the ground. Four. And he'll get this down only to the 18. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. One advantage having a elite guy in the middle of the defensive line because not only does he take up the space and let the linebackers run free, but he can also make plays himself, as we just saw there. Third and eight. To pass, Flacco. And he is caught. And the Browns are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. And I'll tell you what, this offense is playing a little bit of keep away right now. They've come out here in the third quarter, possessed the ball for quite a while, and they keep on converting. Nice pitch and catch there to set up the first and goal. They'll try to run with Hunt. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. Only a yard that time, second and goal. Good work there, holding him out on first down. And this is going to be a battle down here on the goal line. Can they hold their ground for two, maybe even three more plays? Extra bulk up front for second and inches. Three tight ends. They run again with Hunt, and this time he is in. Yes. It's a one-yard touchdown run, and the Browns will add on to their lead here in the final minute of the third. 
So they brought the extra bulk in down on the one yard line and they're able to push this one across. Yeah, I can just see your face right now because I know we're mind melding on this one. Coach Madden would love this. Power football, hat on a hat, chest to chest, driving forward, touchdown. They're going to keep it on the ground. And he's going to go down right at the line of scrimmage. The defense left him with nowhere to go. And the try for two is denied. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll wind up getting a couple extra yards here for his trouble to bringing it out of the end zone as he's down at the 27. And New York set to take the field. And right now, these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting, because three straight drives have ended with him punting the football away. Yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. Now Hall to start the drive. He'll get a yard, that's all, as they get him down at the 28. I think they want to start getting back into this game. It behooves them to get better on first down. Yeah, certainly not what they were looking for there out of the opening play of this drive. Ball on the 28-yard line. Here's second and nine. Here's Wilson. They're able to complete this one to Tyler Conklin. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. Three quarters have come and gone. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we're back now here in Cleveland. It's Jet football, but they trail here as we start the fourth quarter. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. He finds his man complete. It's Wilson. And yeah, they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. This second and four. From the shotgun, Wilson. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Wilson. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him, and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. Paul on to give up the middle. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. But you know that old expression, it's not my night? It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. Wilson's throw here pulled in by Lazard. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And now it's third and three. And we've seen him have success earlier on with the ball in his hands because he is a get it in space and make a play kind of a receiver. But that time, they closed on him quickly and held him to a short game. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. Straight ahead is Hall. And he's going to be a yard short. A two-yard pickup leads to fourth and one. 
Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback, makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. Okay, so thought they might go for it here down late. Instead, they trot out the field goal unit. From the right hash, it's a 46-yard attempt. Zerline's kick is up and through, and that lead is back down to nine now. Well, he was a spectator for much of this game. This is his first field goal opportunity of the entire contest, but he's able to connect. Yeah, he had a pretty good seat to this one, didn't he? But let's face it, all kickers that you and I know, they want to contribute. They want their opportunity, and he seized his. Morstead, the punter, out to kick it off. And he won't quite make it to the 25. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. He has a chance to hit that often elusive 200-yard mark on this drive. And most of the time during a game, people aren't keeping track of individual statistics. Are you sure? Well, a lot of the runners kind of <laughs> know. But I'll guarantee you, someone has sent word into the offensive line that he's got a chance to get over 200 on this drive. That should give them a little extra motivation because they love it when backs break that barrier. Absolutely. We'll see if he can do it. They look to throw on first and 10 with Flacco. He finds his man complete. That's Ford. No gain, and it's second down. That's a nice job defensively to make sure everyone was accounted for because ordinarily you pick up the guys downfield and sometimes you forget about the running back. In this case, they did not and dropped him for no gain. Now a second and 10. The handoff to Ford up the middle. And he'll fight forward to about the 27 yard line. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started, and that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty, and before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. The Browns send out their punter now as he'll come on to kick this one away. A big kick there. We'll call it 56 yards on the punt. And the Jets will take over. And New York set to take the field. Their defense was able to force the punt. That's the good news. But this is still a two-score game, and they need points on this drive and in a relatively quick manner. Wilson leading the Jets up now for a first and 10 at their own 17-yard line. Throwing to start the drive. Wilson looking for a slot man, and he's got him. It'll be a gain of five, and it'll be second down. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one-possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. Here's a second and five. Here's Wilson to throw. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap, and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Now Wilson. They'll set up the screen for Hall. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. They get six on the pickup there as the drive will continue. For as many sacks as this defense has, you can understand their willingness to try and get upfield and get another. So what a really smart play call here to use their aggression against them 
go with the screen, and they're able to get the first down. To throw again is Wilson. And that, oh, nearly picked off. But it would have been a great time for their first interception of the game. Instead, it's second down. Oh, this defense knows. Fourth quarter, they need to make a play. That one was ripe for the taking. Could have changed the complexion of the ball game, but it winds up incomplete. To throw is Wilson. And he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. That helps the completion percentage, but not much else. And now it's third and ten. But he caught it right at the line of scrimmage, and before he could even think about advancing it forward, he got hit. Great tackling, because that's what you're taught. Don't give up yards after the catch, and most offenses make a living off of yards after catch. Those hidden yards that may not go into the score sheet, but they count big for moving the ball and stretching the field. Really nice open field tackle. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. All right, this is the time of the game where they're down a couple scores, and they've really got to get some yards in chunks, and they know the defense doesn't want to give those up, but they've got to find a way to take them anyway. Now the question is, can they string a few of those together? A couple of first downs has the football positioned at the 43 as they come up first and 10. Cobb goes in motion left. Here's a give to Hall. And this one not going anywhere. They get him at the 44 for a gain of just a yard. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Second and nine from the 44. Throwing is Wilson. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Hall. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. It's funny, throughout the time that we've been together, when we talk with running backs about the ability to catch the ball, their eyes light up when they talk about open field and having one-on-one -on -one matchups, don't they? Yeah, they do. And that's the reason why. What we just saw, shedding those tackles, and that's what they're used to doing. It is, and it starts at the beginning of the play. One-on-one -on -one matchup of someone trying to cover them, but they also like those one-on-ones downfield after the catch when they're running with the ball. They think they're going to win those, too. The Jet passing game in rhythm. They've got another first. Well, every drive from here out is definitely crucial and critical. They know that they need to get at least three here to get it back to a one-score game. But I can't imagine that in their huddle that they're thinking at all about getting a field goal. They want to get into the end zone and then try and get the ball back again. Back to the ground with Hall. And he's got it down to the 28. This has been an up and down, back and forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive could take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. Second and six. No, scratch that. Second and seven. Ball again. And he's going to take this down close to a first down at the Browns 22. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. This drive is turning into an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. On third down, here's Hall. And some determined running there as he'll pick his way down to the 12-yard line. Ten yards is the pickup, good enough for a Jet first down. Now, yes, a two-possession game, but a good chunk of time on the clock, so they have the ability still there to run it on second and short, but maybe they need to pick it up a bit. You're right, they did pick up the first down there, but they, as you mentioned, they have to pick up the pace now because it's a two-possession game. They've got to get there twice to make sure they have a chance to win. And he's not able to get away, sacked back at the 22. Miles Garrett in there to get him again. That is sack number six, one off the NFL record of seven. Well, collectively as a defense, Charles, I think if you get four sacks a game, you're feeling really good. Now they have six as a unit. And that type of a number, it's just staggering because there's so many ways to try and counteract it. But in this case, they've got no answers for this unrelenting pressure coming at their quarterback. Now Wilson. 
left side by Cobb. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that's going to lead to a third and 11. Backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. On third down, Wilson. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Back at the 26-yard line. Miles Garrett in there for the seventh time in this game alone, and that ties him with a late Derek Thomas for the most sacks ever in a single game. This offensive line flat out cannot handle this pass rush. We've seen it demonstrated time and time again to the tune of seven sacks in this game thus far. So on now is Greg Zerline in a pressure situation. He hit his first, now this from 43. Zerline's kick is up and through, and that'll move him back within six now. All right, so they needed two scores to get back in the game. The field goal there, maybe not exactly what they wanted, but the necessary first step. There's still time remaining, and there's enough time to get it done. They've got to get it the least a three and out here to get the ball back, preferably a takeaway. Morstead, the punter, out to kick it off. And he returns this to the 22. Heading out as the Cleveland offense now as they get set to take over here. Their lead back down to one score after the field goal a moment ago, so they'll be looking to string together a few first downs, likely on the ground as they begin first and 10. They will start this drive with four. And not much doing there. Maybe a yard up to the 23. Well, how about the big guy there showing some agility? He just float from his D-tackle position in order to make that play. From the 23, here's the second and nine. Again, they turn to Ford. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. And he's able to get most of what he needed on the carry there. Seven yards on the gain, and it's third and two now. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. The Browns on third down. They're hitting at just 30%, three for 10. This time they face a third and two. On the ground, it's four. And he gets it to the 32. Good enough for a first down. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there. And on that play, I saw a defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing in a situation when they absolutely need the football back. That's either a case of overthinking it or not thinking it through. If you do blitz, do you have to be careful about where you're coming from or are you just coming from all angles? You have to be careful about where you're coming from, obviously. But at this stage, you have to take a few chances as well. Amari Cooper, his intended receiver, and it's second down. Here's Flacco. Over the middle, Amari Cooper, it's complete. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. He's up to 87 yards receiving now, and it's a first down. And these guys certainly are not hiding what their intention is. They're absolutely showing it. They're definitely not going to sit on this lead here in the fourth quarter. Two first downs have them up near midfield now on first and ten. Setting up to throw, Flacco. Looking left side, that's caught by Moore. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. 
Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. Stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. They run with Ford. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. And here he'll get it down to the seven. So five yards here, five on the play. And it's second down. He's already proven to be a factor in the running game on this drive. Now he gets involved in the passing game. I think what we're seeing here is the modern version of workhorse in the NFL, being able to run it and catch it with equal proficiency. This is Ford. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Cleveland. Jerome Ford taking it in from seven yards away. And the Browns will add to their fourth quarter lead. And that right there is the definition of a statement drive. You're in the fourth quarter trying to get to the finish line. And here they were able to hold the ball for a long time and move it down the field. And how about them finishing it off with the touchdown run? Winning football 101, check that box. And this one's caught. And their fourth quarter lead grows by a couple more. And around the goal line, especially on two-point tries, sometimes the QB's best friend is that big target, the tight end. I love how you described it because you know he's going to have some length and some catch radius as well as a big body to keep people away from the football. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. So here is Wilson and the Jets, down by two touchdowns, 2.06 to play. They'll have one play, maybe two, before the two-minute warning as they've got a first down. On first and 10, it's Wilson. And he's taken down. This will be a Brown sack. Miles Garrett in there to take him down on what will take us to the two-minute warning. So it's Jets football as we get you reset here. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Under pressure, and they got to him again. Miles Garrett in there to drop him as that clock continues to run. So, Brandon, we sat in with a lot of coaches, and when they talk about things they want to accomplish offensively, I'm not sure that sack and sack are on their play sheet. This crowd turning up the decibel level. It's third and long. Throwing left side, it's complete. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it prior to what will be an important fourth down. Another big play in a game that's had plenty of them. Fourth and two. They'll try and throw for it with Wilson. And able to catch it, but he's out of bounds. And the throw took him beyond the sideline, and that's going to be a turnover on downs. 
So with that, we can just about close the book on this one, Charles. Yeah, what's the old expression about slim and none? Well, slim just left town on that <laughs> They're one. They're down to none? Yes, exactly right. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They'll try the left side. It's Ford. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. You'd have to think likely another running play coming here, second and 11. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And he will have a Browns first down. It has been a struggle, but it's looking like that'll be the one to seal a victory. The Browns in victory formation now as they take the knee. <laughs> to an egos Flacco and that should be it. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? And the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. So it's a win here for the Cleveland Browns. And it was thanks in large part to the play of the man who's been doing this for a while their veteran quarterback. Yeah, he really had his A game tonight. He threw a couple of touchdown passes, and he was instrumental in earning this victory.